really have been playing quite well together and just hopefully getting a little, a little kick on because obviously we've got our Euros coming up and to be building like a, ending on a high, especially as we won here last year so we've got good memories just now. So ending on a high and really going into the Euros on a good note. Willie, this is a very important year for Scotland's under-19s. Why? The fact, obviously, that it is a World Cup year, um, World Cup qualifying year, and also uh, a bit different uh, from previous years in that uh, there's uh, two qualifying stages, uh, one next week in Jersey, uh, from which two European sides would qualify, um, and then we would move on to a mini ICC tournament, if you like, from which uh, six associate teams would qualify from ten. Second qualification tournament is in September in Canada, uh, and qualification from that would then take us to the World Cup itself in New Zealand in February. Well, there has been a remarkable amount of under-19 cricket uh, in the Premier Division, obviously, of the National League, uh, both last year and this year, and they seem to have made a tremendous impression. Yeah, I think so. I think... Uh, Wherever we've gone, uh, opposition and opposition support have said that uh, it's really freshened things up as far as uh, Premier League cricket is concerned. Uh, looking at the the individuals then, um, at the top of the order there's Oliver Hares who's been uh, doing very well. Yeah, Oliver Hares, um, a good young cricketer, a very, very forceful batsman. Uh, we're looking at him to go in at the top of the order and really set a platform for the rest of the guys to work for. Matthew Parker, obviously, another under-19 who was capped last year, um, made his way this year. He played a few C&G games, uh, picked up a slight injury uh, and is just on his way back to full fitness with, with the ball in hand. Uh, a very, very useful top-order batter uh, to, to complement the rest. Freddie Coleman also has uh, taken the batting world by storm. Yeah, Freddie's, um, Freddie, as most people know, uh, is going to be joining up at Warwickshire Academy and we have high hopes for Freddie, for, both for ourselves and uh, for, for senior Scottish cricket and, and for you and Chalmers, um, the quiet lad, the silent assassin as we like to call him, um, has worked his way through the ranks, uh, you know, pretty quiet character but really works really hard on his game and um, a good, you know, a good solid member of the top order. Mark Petrie has, has done really well, um, he's worked really hard, had a quiet start to his youth international career but he's really come through, he's really found himself. Craig Wallace um, as, a, as a backup keeper but uh, in his own right um, bats at the top of the list for four for sure. And uh, there was only one Asian uh, name here, Safian Sharif. Yeah, Safian, um, opening bowler, a seriously hard-hitting batsman, a big, big, strong lad. We'll look forward to seeing down in the sort of late middle order. But uh, bowls, bowls quite a heavy ball. Uh, Willie Rowan. Yeah, Willie, um, again, one of the performance boys. has worked really hard at his game. Um, he's shaped himself really nicely with a good run-up. A uh, good, strong, lengthy run-up, uh, and has uh, worked himself into again a good middle-order batter. Aman Bailwell, uh, he's a little buzz bomb. He's the little bonus character, the the guy who will bowl bowl some overs when required. Um, he'll score some useful runs in the late middle order when required, and he is also around the field one of our best outfielders. Another of the bowlers, Richie Lamb. Yeah, Richie from Aberdeen. Um, we looked for Richie to in the middle order, in the middle of the innings there, to bowl wicket to wicket. Bowls very straight. Um, just does enough with the ball, just uh, just to keep batsmen interested. Yeah, Keith, obviously, a son of mine, who you know, again in the last year, the performance course has really done him proud. He's worked really hard. Uh, he's worked really hard at his game. He's worked really hard with his batting, and has come on in the field immensely. And uh, at the bottom of the order, Michael Leesk. Yeah, Michael's just uh, Michael's probably just tucked in later. He went away in the winter uh, to South Africa and came back, bowling some really nice offspin, and 
he's he actually he made his way into the squad through some great good performances uh, later on in the season. I get the impression, having watched these boys just a couple of times, that uh, they're very very uh, keen and uh, athletic in the field. What, what's your own assessment overall for, of their chances of qualifying for the World Cup? Because we haven't actually done it for a few years now. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very positive of, the, of our chances. Um, the fact that we've played so much cricket together, um, probably close to 20 matches this season already, uh, which over the you know five years ago would have taken you five years to do so. And we have a very outgoing personality in the, the skipper. Yeah, Calvin Burnett. Doesn't leave anything on the field, likes to have it all done, plenty of noise, very busy. Um, good, good first, second change bowler and uh, very handy, has scored some useful runs for us at 7 and 8. Had a good start again, obviously, a lot of Ollie Ayers and a few of the boys, Sparky, Van, decent again, and we seemed to always be able to do that and then kind of tail off, but we did well, worked well in partnerships, like I said at the start, everyone knew what to, who to bat with, me and Chubby put on a decent hit. A few lads dwell at the end there, a few singles. I think maybe just below par. Boys don't know that, but maybe just below. But I think we can pull off. We've got enough strength in our bowling attack, enough depth to pull us off, I think.